Today's video is sponsored by Go Markets. Go Markets is a multi award winning broker who is regulated by the Cyprus Security and Exchange Commission. I have personally been using Go Markets for over five years now, and one of the reasons I chose them was because their customer service is second to none. Low spreads, fast withdrawals, and thousands of tradable products makes Go Markets the favourable choice for the BD members. Go Markets is the official online trading sponsor of Chelsea Football Club. If you are looking to trade with a worldwide trusted and regulated broker, then sign up using our link below and start trading today with low spreads. Thank you and enjoy today's video. Morning everyone, uh, it is currently 6.46 a.m. Yeah, dedicated for making this YouTube video, eh? Or just dedicated to make money in general. Uh, it's probably because I'm going to India, like I said, at the end of this week. And I need to make some pips to turn into Indian rupees so I can actually have some spending money. Anyway, right. Um, right, okay. So, believe it or not, I've actually been on the charts quite early. I've been on the charts at 5.14am. Look at this. I went, this will be a good setup if we get a Mogwai Arrow, uh, GPJPY, uh, the waiting game. And then somebody said, um, just took 12 pips out of it. So, I completely missed that setup. Uh, took 12 pips here. Oh man, I missed it now. I'm loading up my charts on the charts now. Um, so yeah, let's have a trading session. Just want to show you that this isn't, you know, I haven't actually back tested it or simulated it or I don't know, whatever you kind of think or faked it. Uh, these are today's results. As you can see, zero. Okay, I've took no trades today. This is obviously yesterday's trades, which was the sell on GPUSD. This was the London Open. Um, if you watch yesterday's video, you're going to know we took those trades. I did it on a YouTube video. Uh, this is the trading account. Uh, it's started off with a thousand pound. It's now sitting at two grand. So I've doubled the account in less than a month. 92% win ratio. I actually had this account just to do the London and New York Open. But obviously, because I'm always trading with the BD members, I just this count was loaded up and I just kind of carried on trading it um which is not what I plan to do with it I plan to just use it for the, for the um for the challenge anyway right so let's have a look at the charts let's have a quick update of what's going on okay so during the Asian session not a lot is happening price has gone sideways USD chef again nothing I don't expect anything to happen we had a nice little buy there let me just have a quick look on why we got a buy here let's have a let's first of all look at 15 minute charts um, and I believe that was yeah that explains that one look at that beautiful break and retouch look at that you know sometimes it amazes me how people try and overcomplicate their trading you know if price is an uptrend what you want to do you just want to buy it okay everybody else is buying you want to buy it the hardest part as a trader is to wait for that pullback to happen that part here is what breaks so many traders because they want to enter early they get impatient they're not disciplined enough and yeah literally that pullback there is what ends most of people's trading career right because you've got an uptrend then you've got the pullback then you've got the break and retouch. There's the previous resistance or high. Um, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Then you scale it down to the one minute time frame. And what do you have at this at this level? You have a Mogwai signal. Beautiful. Uh, apart from that, oh, hang on here. We've got a sell. We've got a sell. Yeah, watch this. I'm going to take a sell on Euro USD. First trade in and out. Let's go for this one. Euro USD. Uh, and we're, we're going to up the lot size a bit, shall we? We'll up the lot size. Um, I bet pips are going to be really, oh, the spread's going to be really bad. Yeah, spread's quite bad at this time, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, right, so let's break this one down. Why did I take this setup? Okay, so Mogwai signal, MACD's just gone overbought. It will go overbought the next two candles. If we just quickly go to some naked charts now and we go to the 15 minute time frame, oh, look, what do we have at this level? Same as before break and retest okay so obviously what we've had here is we've had the trend down we've had the pullback here this actually would be the perfect sell with the trend uh, but we've created that low there's the previous low obviously this is the new low so it's still confirming to me it's a downtrend if i just have a quick look at the one hour charts um we are okay price is 
Okay, price is struggling at this level there. So one hour charts is good because I know there's sellers starting to come into play. I know on the 15 minute charts, price is in a downtrend. And I know off the one minute time frame, we have a Mogwai signal. Um, I'm just going to go for one to one on this one. The reason being is because London hasn't opened yet. So there's not going to be a lot of movement across the currency pairs. So trying to go for big, you know, pips is not really going to work. Uh, you're just going to be sitting in trades for long periods of time. So what you want to do is, especially when you're scalping the Asian market, get in, get out. Um, so Euro USD just took that for a sell. Um, so yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back very, very shortly with an update on this trade. Okay, take profit has just been hit on Euro USD, or I say take profit's just been hit. I haven't actually closed the trade off in profit anyway. Uh, I haven't actually set a take profit, but there you go there. I'm going to close it off there. Uh, the reason being is simply because, like I said, you're not going to get much movement during this time anyway. It's very unlikely during the Asian sessions that you'll get a switch in in trends. Uh, but good sell, beautiful sell in and out. Let me just update the BD members. Uh, TP hit on Euro USD. Did anybody did anybody else take that? Um, took it. Oh, took it too. What was your SL? Uh, well, I didn't really set an SL, but we'll just go ten pips. To, uh, ten pips stop loss. Um, ten pips take profit. Uh, TP on your USD just now. Thanks, Jamie. Perfect setup. No problem. The Done. Right. Okay. So as you can see here, first trade of the day, as you can see there, uh, Euro USD a sell. Beautiful. Uh, let's get some pips made. So again, I'm going to pause the video. Uh, let me just have a quick look at the charts. Oh, oh, gold. Completely missed gold. Look at that. Again, breaking retouch on gold. Look at that. Look at that. That's really annoying. I mean, that would have been my second sell. I put, damn it. I missed gold that was good too right uh gold obviously we missed that setup so that sucks doesn't it literally oh well you can't win them all can you well you can't you can't take them all okay yeah usd cad nothing your usd nothing uh, gp usd nothing um usd chef nothing aussie us dollar nothing and yeah that's it so Again, I'll pause the video. I'll come back very shortly once we get uh, another setup. Hi everyone, believe it or not, it's actually been around eight hours now since I made that uh, that last video. Uh, the time now is 2.22, so in approximately eight minutes time, the New York session is gonna open and we're gonna be taking our first trade on the Mogwai strategy, Mogwai signal. So if you didn't know, we've been trading the London Open and New York Open, and to be honest with you, the whole of this morning, there's not really a lot happened. It's been a very quiet day with the buy and destroyer, but you know what? That's normal, okay? The buy and destroyer and myself is no exception, right? We will have good and bad days. And just be honest with you, today just today's just been a little bit slow. Most of the currency pairs are trending. I mean, we had that little sell on GPUSD. We had that nice little buy. I'm currently in a sell on gold right now. I'll actually show you. Um, there's those sells on gold here. So sells on gold. Uh, which is those cells here. But to be honest, if you look, pretty much everything's just been trending up. If you look at your USD, everything's just been an uptrend. Like, it's just been a very slow day. Um, it's been quite good in the BD group. I mean, we traded the London Open this morning, and unfortunately, it lost. So we're currently at 18... 18.2 now, I think, or 18.3. 18, so 18 wins... Uh, three losses over the last three weeks. So the, uh, let me rephrase that. The London open trade this morning, unfortunately, lost. So basically, we're back here now to trade the New York open trade. Um, what you'll find, right, is I find this funny, is look, everybody's waiting. Look, 15 minutes to go, waiting for NY to open. It's literally like this, right? The BD group's very active every single day because you have members all over the world. 
But during London Open and New York Open, watch this, you will see about 300 members joining now and there'll be about 500 comments going, yes, waiting for the signal, who's in, who's in? Um, but yeah, to be honest with you, it's been quite quiet. I was going to kind of do some trading with you today, but nothing's really happened. I mean, amazing 4-0 today in another sell on EU. Uh, took 10 pips. Um... I do not trade EG, but it looks good. So this BD member took some, uh, looks like back-to-back -back sales on Euro JPY. I said I don't trade it. I mean, this was at 11 o'clock. So this was about five hours ago. No, three hours ago. Uh, but apart from that, nothing else has really happened. It's just been quiet. Um, uh, let's go. Some BD members saying here, TP hit in a minute and then wait for the new Mogwai signal to the upside. GU lost. Yeah, realistically, that, that was that sell, or that was that buy. So this was the London Open trade that unfortunately lost. Uh, and since then, nothing's really been happened. And now here we are. Six minutes to go. Look, everybody's starting to jump online. Look at this. Who's in on NY Open is EU. 6 p.m., six minutes to go. No, in five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let me just quickly break down that sell on... Um, on gold so basically let me summarize it mogwai signal macd overbought or sold you're probably wondering jamie why didn't i take this one why didn't i take this one okay simple okay so let's look at it macd's gone over sold on that one great macd's gone over sold on this one but if we just look at the price action on this and again keep it simple keep it simple what do we have here oh look we have a nice area of resistance look at that i mean it couldn't be any more simple could it right if we just if we just mark it up here, prices come down, prices pull back, prices come down, prices pull back, prices come down, prices pull back. Now looking at this, we could consider that this is an uptrend because you've created a higher low. Okay. However, long term, I think this is down. This is one of those setups on gold or on anything where you go, what is happening here? Is it an uptrend because it's created a higher low or is it a downtrend because it's a downtrend? What I know and what I trade is I look at this here and I go, OK, so we could argue this is a higher low and we could argue this is a break and retouch to the downside. So if we're unsure, Let's take the trade. Let's go for a one-to-one, -one, in and out, done. So that's pretty much what I've done. Gone for a one-to-one. -one. Um, so yeah, I've gone for a one-to-one. -one. In fact, what I might actually do is just close these trades off here. Uh, I might close these trades off there. Done. Um, because I know, like I said, in approximately four minutes time, everybody's jumping on now. Look at this. Six minutes to go. No, in five minutes. Is it blue hour? I only have red and green. Yeah, so... We are all getting ready for New York. New, I can't say it. New York Open. Um, so let's load up your USD. Let's load up the one minute time frame. And let's, uh, let's go. So basically, I'm going to update you when we get our first trade on Euro USD for the New York Open. So I'll come back very shortly. Right. Here comes the first Mogwai signal after New York Open on your USD. We've been waiting around an hour for this, but, you know, it has its perks, doesn't it? You know, literally just taking an arrow, no price action. But the downside, sometimes you have to wait for it to appear. Um, I think maybe in the next minute, uh, they, how did I know that was going to happen? How did I know? Right, okay, I'm just going to enter it straight away. I'm going to enter two sales. Done. In. No messing. Look. All the Honestly, right, I'm not joking you with you. I've been sitting here for about, you know, an hour. And I've been reading all the comments. Look at it. Just This has literally been nuts. I was reading some messages here. Look. Amazing how much the BD and Mogwai, how, or Mogwai has improved my trading so far. Seven wins, one loss today. Mogwai and a little bit of my own style. Ten pip stop loss, ten pip take profit. Um, a lot of BD members were taking a buy and sell on gold. Look, uh, where was it? Gold. Where's gold? Um, oh, gold. Ah, oh, gold mog. Gold mog. Yeah, I'll show you the actual setup on gold. Look, a lot of BD members. I'm not, and I'm not joking on this, right? I watched it, and I didn't want to take it. But obviously, you see me take these sells here. Then we had a buy, and then we had a sell, and now we got another sell. And I watched the BD members take the buy and then they took the sell. And I was like, maybe I should have joined them. 
but I've literally just been sitting here waiting for this cell here to appear. Um, we are in the trade now, so I'm going to set a take profit of 10 pips. As you as you know, the London Open trade lost, so you know this is the uh, this is the New York trade, okay? Um, and and yeah, there you go. There, see how many of the BD members actually took it. Arrow EU, yes. So I bet a lot of BD members have took it. You were literally, I'm not joking you when I say this. When or if I say if these trades hit 10 pips. Watch this go man mental. Everyone will be like, oh, TP, TP, TP hit, TP hit. Look, first mog after NY open. They're smart, aren't they? They're like me for sell. So, yeah, I'm going to pause the video. I'll come straight back once this trade either hits our stop loss, which is going to be our stop loss is going to be somewhere around here. Um, yeah, there you go there, 9.6. So it's around here. Um, so I'll update you very shortly on this trade. Fingers crossed it's a winner because obviously the London Open lost and we want I would definitely want to end in a profitable week uh, when going over to India. So yeah, I'll come straight back. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. Today has just been so frustrating. So basically, this was the New York Open trade here. Okay, I filmed it. We took it. And the time now is 5.30. So for the last two hours, it has done nothing, nothing. The red line at the top is my stop loss, okay? And it was like 1.2 pips away from hitting my stop loss. And then it just did nothing. It's just gone sideways. So I ended up closing it off early at six pips because I wanted to get this video out. I've been here since 5 a.m. I wanted to go out. And I started editing the video and then I realized I hadn't turned the microphone on. So I've had to redo it all again. But yes, yeah, frustrating. But there you go there, Euro USD sells. That was the trade there. I closed them off at 17.11. Obviously, you know, 17.24 now. Yeah, it's just been so frustrating. But yeah, New York kind of won. I closed it off early. You can maybe have took that one, but I'm done. I'm giving myself a headache sitting here any longer. So I hope you have the rest of the evening. Have an awesome night and I'll see you tomorrow on another video. So peace out, everyone.